I've gotten burned a few times having a, a really good cleaning person uh, technician come in and run the office and two things happen. One is it's not the right fit, but I, I wanted, I felt I needed to promote her, right? And it wasn't a good fit for her. And then the other thing is, where is that sort of, um, um, that, that, you know, uh, command, she, she had a hard time sort of commanding that uh, authority from moving from managing, you know, uh, cleaning houses to managing people that clean houses. And they're like, she's just a cleaner like us. You know, who do you think you are? And there's, it was like an automatic, you know, um, really ruffled feathers when we like did that. Jealous, like a jealousy was. thing in a way. Little jealousy, little, yeah, a little, who do you think you are? Yeah, yeah. Well, I would, I would say that if that happened to you, Sean, in all honesty, then that's your fault. And you're like, as the leader of the company, yep. you know, like that's that kind of behavior, like anything but excitement for people, people's growth and promotion. Like that's what we want. Right. So that comes from the top, what the expectations are around people's elevation in our, com in our companies. Um, I've done it several, I mean, I haven't brought people from the field in to run my run, but I've, we have elevated. So we have a career ladder in for our cleaning technicians, but then, you know, then you get those other ones that could really, they, they can really help elevate in other ways and they have the skills to do it. And they're either gonna stick around for a while, make some good money and then move on to a more professional position elsewhere or whatever. So I have found places for people and, um, it's all about how we present it and what we expect out of our staff, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's that's a leadership thing. Um, and so uh, not to not to like dress you down or whatever, but that was all your fault. Yeah, man. John, so, it's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, was, that was many years ago, <laughs> many, many years ago. I, I really improved. hope you've grown since then, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't improved, but it was many, many years ago. <laughs> all right, so but um, when, so what Wendy's saying in terms of having a great so culture Sean's for a staff. piece of shit. Let me mark that down for a minute, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> No, no, you got to talk nicer yourself than anybody else, yeah. Sean. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's um, my job but, to tell you this piece of shit. I'll remind you right. tomorrow. Uh, cool. So, but what, what Dan said, like in terms of subcultures within a company, and I haven't reached that kind of scale, Dan, so I can't really, but, well, I shouldn't say that. I do think that there's different things that you can do, like to build teamwork and camaraderie and whatever with your admin team versus like if you've got 25 technicians in the field, like it's a, there's different kinds of responsibility, there's different relationships. And so um, to what Wendy's saying, and, and if you don't have a good culture in your office, then I don't know how that you have a great culture for your cleaning staff. I'm curious, Wendy, if you're still on here, that I would think the trickle down from that wouldn't be good because if your office is managing your cleaning staff, I don't understand how it's great in the field, but not in the office. So. If Wendy, if you're still look, watching, then put some more information in there so we can talk about it. But you can do, you know, team building and you can do all kinds of things just with your office and you can develop a little bit of a culture. Like it's different, like even the way that, that you guys talk to each other or that what we would talk to each other isn't how we would talk to field technicians, right? So I definitely think you can, I think the values guide the culture no matter where it is like so for me that's a really strong piece of it they guide wherever it is but like my office team like they go out to like baseball games together like and you know and and sometimes we do that with everyone else but they do things together they are friends they are peers right and so and they're not the peers with the people cleaning houses and so there's also a difference there in terms of interests and socializing and all of it